So I was taking out these plaits that I've had in my head for about two weeks now. I just been wearing wigs cause I just have had the most like contentment with my hair. I just have not been happy with her lately. Ever since I had my little health, you know, crisis in 2019, early 2020, I just, I have not loved her the same. Back then I had to do a big chop. So I'm now allowing her to grow out. This has been three years of me growing her out. Like I, I, I love my hair, I do. I love my hair, I love my curls. And there's times where I do styles and she completely surprises me and kills a look. But I still, I guess, hold a little bit of anxiety from when I had to big chop my hair off because I was not healthy and it's still kind of those residual feelings are still still there and because of that i just don't like my natural hair as much as i used to i think right now i am like mid almost bra strap i'm probably about right here in length i just fear that i'm going to lose her again so i don't like to touch her i don't like to wear her out and i'm still kind of scared i wasn't going to film this because i was just like i don't even know if i'm going to like it i don't even know if it's something i want to share because i literally have been battling with her like she she, she and i just have not been eye to eye since i'm just going to finish taking her out here on camera and just kind of like talk talk with you guys when i did my big chop back in 2019 i broke down crying on social media that was probably one of my most vulnerable moments. I didn't cut her out of leisure. I didn't cut her because I wanted to. I, I cut her because I had to. I had lost a lot of hair. I was experiencing low iron at the time, extremely low iron, like blood transfusion low. And just health wise, I just wasn't, I wasn't the best. And I, I'm still very much teetering on what is healthy and what is not. Just the thought of it scares the hell out of me so badly that I have panic attacks and I literally, like scare myself to death over what possibly could be an issue for me. You know, I kind of like step back from all the natural hair tutorials and stuff like that. I do a lot more crochet styles, braids, wigs, and that's kind of just been my niche lately. They should not be an everyday hairstyle for me and they have became an everyday hairstyle for me. Like that was all I was wearing. I am getting help for my iron. I now have like a consistent doctor testing me every now and then to make sure that I'm you know, not falling below again. And I'm looking for those signs now to make sure. Usually it's extreme hair loss for me, weight loss. Of course, the chewing ice. I, I chew ice like it's no business. It's, oh my God, that one came out really good. Look how shiny that one is. That one is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I really have been avoiding doing my hair. Oh, like, and it's such a shame because like, look at how, like, look at that shine. And I legit like, haven't been putting anything on it. When I say I've been neglecting my hair, we're down to the last one. And I'm gonna finish styling it and show y'all the end. Ooh, that feels amazing. Cause I have not touched the scalp in a minute. Oh God. Oh, it just feels good just to scratch it. Look at that. Ooh. Look, I be looking back on my old pictures from when I first started my channel in 2019 and how like big and luxurious my hair was back then. Seeing it now, and I, I do a lot of comparing. That's probably my biggest downfall is I'm doing a lot of comparing from freaking six years ago, almost five years ago. I just need to embrace who she is now. She probably isn't the same girly she was in 2019. And hell, I'm not either, so. I just need to allow my hair to be and stop being afraid. And it could just be all in my head. I could just be like making all this up just because of my anxiety and fear of losing what I've grown so far. You know what? I might just go ahead and make this little journal, journey journal, journal journey, where I just come on here and just show her off for the next week. Maybe that small, introduction of my hair every day for the next week will just help me to see that there is nothing wrong with my hair. All right, so I made it to day five hair. It is Friday. I went out and ran a couple of errands this morning. The girls are still super defined. There's a little bit of frizziness and dryness going on, but for the most part, like look at that gorgeous shine. Look at that curliness. Oh my gosh. I haven't done anything, any heat 
no additional products, no additional oil. This is just, this is her and her gloriness. By Tuesday, she will definitely either be in a high bun or a low bun. I'll probably restyle it some kind of way, but right now, she looks good. All right, y'all, so this is the last day for this twist out of my scalp. It's itching today, very much so. I'll probably wash it today, but this is what she's looking like. I think I'm gonna keep that same energy and put her in a ponytail today too. It is most definitely time to wash my hair. And I will do that, just not right now. I'm going with some water this time. I really need her to get a little wet. All right, got her wet. And now I'm gonna go in with the Pattern Beauty Curl Gel, just to kind of lay down just a little bit. There we go. Got boy. Just slather that right on there. Secure this ponytail. All right. She's in there all right now. Let's do this section. I'm going in with some more curl gel. Like, this gives your hair so much slip. It's so nice. I managed to get old girl into a ponytail, but it is not the best looking ponytail. We just gonna rock with it today. I'm just running errands today, so you know, we ain't doing nothing too crazy anyway. She's definitely in need of a wash and for me to restyle her. It was just a quick solution so I could go out the door. So. Yeah, thank you for joining us, joining me on my journey journal where we're journeying through this natural hair care. I like to think that I know what I'm doing, but a lot of times I feel like I just be lucky and that my hair just knows how to cooperate and do most of the things that I need her to do. So we will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.